I'd mean, be at work at like 10 to 8 in the morning but the prospect of sitting in front of a camera at 9 o'clock in the morning is too much for me and I am so not wearing a bra right now Hello my sparkly little unicorns and that's as enthusiastic as I'm gonna get this morning. <laughs> okay guys, so as you know I love to do like get to know me tags and just general questiony type things, I quite enjoy it. And this one looked really interesting to me, it's the invade my privacy tag. So here I am, it is currently 9.16, I, Mark brought me up breakfast this morning because he's a good egg. <laughs> And I've just set the camera up. This is me in all my morning glory. That's awkward. Okay, so questions. Number one, did you wake up cranky? Not cranky. I just, I felt like I hardly slept last night. I saw every hour. Sorry, if you wonder why I'm doing this. I'm not, like, dancing. I'm just cuddling the cat that is really here. There she is. Hello. Okay, number two. Would you date an 18-year-old at your current age? Um... I think it depends, doesn't it, on the 18 year old? I suppose the question is, would me at 18 have dated, what well, would me now have dated me at 18? And the answer is no. Question three, do you prefer to be friends with girls or boys? Um, either. I have girlfriends, I have boyfriends. It's the person, isn't it? It's not the gender. And uh, number four, would you ever smile at a stranger? Right, so, I have something which is now widely becoming to known as resting bitch face. So when I talk to you guys, I express myself, I'm talking to to you, I smile, I laugh, I joke. If I'm out in public, especially just minding my own business, this is my face. That's me just resting my face and the amount of people and strangers that say to me, come on, cheer up, love, it might not happen, you know, smile, duck, you know, you'll be prettier if you smile. If I'm walking down the street and I'm on my own, I just look like I'm miserable and I hate my life. Five, can you commit to one person? Well, yes, I've been married for four and a bit years now as that's awkward. If you guys have been here for a while, you'll know that many a time I've started filming, especially in the morning, and I won't be wearing my wedding rings because I do not sleep with them on. I had both of them on, I slept in them, and I woke up with a huge cut here, like really close to my eye. And I was like, no, <laughs> night time, I will not be sleeping with them on. Number six, how do you look right now? Well, this beautiful, top bun here with knotty greasy hair this wonderful top that smiles too big for me which is now off the shoulder surrounded in bedding that desperately needs to be washed so what would we call that tramp chic number seven what exactly are you wearing right now well this obviously my hair i'm also wearing these beautiful trousers i wasn't wearing trousers i thought i should put trousers on for the purpose of this video number eight how often do you listen to music uh every day i listen to music all the time yeah i love music always have done number nine do you wear jeans or sweats more so i am someone who really can't start their day properly until they get dressed which is why this video is so weird for me because i'm not dressed i don't have to do my hair i don't have to do my makeup but i have to be out of gym jams I tend to only wear sweats when i'm poorly generally no i would wear jeans more do you think your life will change dramatically before 2020 i hope so like I'd love to be doing YouTube full time, that would be great. I suppose, like, Mark and I starting a family, that would be great. Do I think it will? It might, like, everyone has an ideal in their head how things are gonna be. So yeah, I, I hope it is. I hope it's different. Are you introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. Number 12, if a person you like, say they like someone else, what do you say? Ooh, that has happened to me a couple of times in my life. At both times I just went, yeah, cool, 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 cool. I'll cry it out later at home with chocolate and crisps. Just cry into a pillow. 13, are you good at hiding your feelings? Um, it depends. Sometimes I really, really can't and then others I really don't want people to know what I'm thinking so I tend to act completely the opposite so if I'm feeling really sad I'll be overly happy and like to the point where you're like girl you need to, to, to calm down 14 can you drive a stick shift um well I can but I don't like I did driving lessons and I was pretty much at the point ready to take my test um but my anxiety just got in the way of everything and fun fact I still 
don't drive. It's something that I was hoping to tackle this year, but given life and everything that's happened, um, it's not going to be this year. So hopefully 2018, <laughs> that will be something that I tackle and do because I really want to do it. But I know how to, if that makes sense. 15, do you care if people talk badly about you? Yes. Uh, like if someone said to me, you know, oh, so-and-so has been talking crap about me and, you know, I'm really upset. I'd be like, don't let them bother you. It's your life, you know, you should just rise above it it doesn't matter what they think if you're happy with you then you're happy with you that's all that matters but then putting that into practice like I know that that's right but it really does bother me because I don't like it when people don't like me because I, I just don't but it, it depends who it is like if someone I don't like doesn't like me I'm just like Bleh. But if someone who I feel I haven't done anything to or don't even know properly, like I can remember at college once this girl, I, was, I got on the bus, the college bus, and this girl literally said, God, I hate her. And I'm like, I don't even know you. I've never spoken to you. How can you hate me? Like, how can you make an opinion on someone that you don't know? 16, are you going out of town soon? No. When was the last time you cried? Uh, this morning. Uh, I found out one of the residents that I really quite liked passed away whilst I've not been there. So, yeah, that was sad. I really liked her. Number 18, have you ever liked someone you didn't expect to? Yes, I constantly find that I don't like someone and then I end up liking them. Less so as I've got older because I've stopped judging as much. Um, but I know <laughs> my best friend, we started off like at the beginning of school, we hated each other. We hated each other. And then after about a year, like we were in each other's pockets, we lived at each other's houses, we went on holiday together, like we were sisters essentially. Uh, but it, initially we, we hated each other. Uh, number 19, if you could change your eye colour, would you and what colour would they be? Um, no, I like my eyes. Um, I think the only thing is I'd like maybe them to be a bit more blue, like pale blue. I think pale blue eyes are stunning. Mine are more of a grey, but like these are the eyes I have. God gave me these eyes, so you know, they're nice enough. I'm happy with them. <laughs> Number 20, name something you have to do tomorrow. Um, get better. <laughs> I don't really have anything pressing to do. I need to book a dentist appointment. Which, another fun fact, I'm absolutely terrified of the dentist. That's it guys, that is the invade my privacy tag. Um, I hope you enjoyed this background of my very, very wonderful messy bed. Pop Nikki back on. So I'm definitely getting this sh